Hello everybody, my name is Idiotic Synergy and today we are going to have a look at the new Lucius the Eternal model. Or I should say Lucius the Faultless Blade. No one calls him the Faultless Blade because he's, he's so bad. I, I hate this character. The, you know when you re- it's like Abby in The Last of Us 2 where you, where you just hate that character because she's poorly written? It's, it's Lucius the Eternal. Lucius the Eternal is Abby from The Last of Us 2, but even more inept. <laughs> He's so bad. He is so bad. I don't, I don't like Lucius. I, right, where to begin with Lucius the Eternal? This might turn into a mini rant about Lucius the Eternal, but fuck it. His model is too good. In fact, here is his model. In fact, there's a bit of lore here, which is just bullshit. So, the Emperor's children are renowned for their pursuit of, perse of perfection. This is the new model where we're about to see more of it, but let me read this. Especially the arts of war, but one stands head and shoulders above the rest. That man is Lucius, known in the 31st millennium as the Faultless Blade. This man lost a fight. I think Garviel Loken headbutted him, if memory serves me correctly. And he started mutilating himself, and that started his fall to chaos. <laughs> because somebody headbutted him in the face. I wish I was kidding. I think he headbutted him or just punched him. Either way, he got his nose broken and fell to chaos. Lucius the Eternal. Well written character. I fucking hate this character. He loses constantly. There is. He is just poorly written. He, which is a shame because I would like to see, like he's a Slanesh champion. I thought that would be pretty cool. I like Fulgrim. Fulgrim's pretty interesting, but Lucius isn't. Lucius is bullshit. I don't know. Right. Okay. Let me explain why why Slanesh choosing Lucius doesn't make sense. It's because with every Chaos God, they have a chosen champion and their Primarch. Basically, the Primarch is like a trophy, but they have a chosen champion. So, more uh, so Typhus is Nurgle's chosen champion, uh, Khan is Khorne's chosen champion, and Eremon is Zinch's chosen champion. Now, the reason they're all chosen champions is because... Typhus is really good at what he does, and he kills things and spreads plagues and, you know, actually gets shit done. Khan is just brilliant. I love Khan the Betrayal. I think he is in my top five characters of all time. I generally think Khan the Betrayal is just brilliant, especially in the book Betrayal, which I recommend you read. And Eremon is fascinating. I love the fact that he accidentally caused the downfall of his legion, got shunned by Magnus, of all people, and then is working on a cure. That is interesting. All of that is interesting. Lucius, what can I say about Lucius? Oh, his armour does all the work for him. I, I don't understand Lucius at all. He loses every fight, but that's the point. He's supposed to lose. That is the point of Lucius. He is supposed to lose. Because his armour then does all the work. His armour is pretty cool. Basically, someone kills Lucius, and then... Uh, I don't know how, but their soul then gets sucked into the armour, and Lucius then takes uh, that person's place. And he's sort of like, Aha, I'm back! And that's cool. But Lucius himself is shit. He, he just... He's not interesting. Fulgrim's interesting. Lucius is not. And I don't understand why he isn't. Maybe in the book The Faultless, Faultless Blade, he... I, I haven't read that book. But maybe it makes him more interesting. But all I know is that he is so shit. He... He constantly gets beaten up in that in during the Horus Heresy. Like, he just appears, gets beaten up, cries about it, reappears, gets beaten up. Like that is his entire character throughout the entire Horus Heresy is he appears, he dies, he appears, he dies, he appears, he dies. There's nothing to him. There's no weight to him. There's no <laughs> believability. No, I can't. 
that is dumb. But you know what I mean. There's, there's no, there's nothing to him. His arm is cooler than him. Saying that, this is Lucius. I've been putting it off. I do apologise, but I just needed to get that out of my system. This model is brilliant. It's too good for Lucius, and it makes the 40k one look even worse. And believe me, I fucking hate the 40k model. I do own it out of spite. I think that's the only time I've ever owned a model is out of spite. But here we are. This is my <laughs> this is my story. Oh no, bloody David Cage reference. No. Anyway, so this is the model, and I wish there was a 360 view because I would love to see the cape. It's really well painted, but the sculpt looks brilliant. Of course, he's got a rock because why hasn't he? But look at look at the scars on his face. That's I don't know if they were like free handed on or or if they're on the actual sculpt themselves. I hope they're on the sculpt themselves because they look brilliant. Or these could be painted on. But the scars here and here and here, they look great. And, like, all this model looks brilliant. I i do not dispute that at all. This model looks brilliant. I like the details here. I mean, look at, look at that. It's a screaming soul. It's a screaming face belt. It looks brilliant. I like this little knife he owns here. I, I love that little knife. It looks really cool. It, okay, it kind of looks chunky, but but then again, I hope there's a 360 view at some point so we can actually see it. But it looks good. The cape looks amazing. I would, lo I would love to see the sodding backpack. And the sword. The sword looks great. I don't mind it. The pose, everything about the model looks great. But let me show you the 40k one, because this model is, I would buy this model. I would buy this model and use it as the 40k uh, Lucius the Eternal. And you know what, I suggest you all do the same, because this is the 40k model. Now on screen, now I have it in person, but on screen is my Lucius the Eternal model that I own out of spite. <laughs> I, d I don't know how- I I brought this in a shop because I didn't recognise the model. I uh, wasn't really familiar with the model and yeah, I brought this model by accident and now I own it out of spite. Well, I think I brought it because it looked cool. I, I like the- I just like the- I, I like old models but this this one I thought was really interesting. Now, I generally thought this was like a limited run one or something, you know, because I never see Lucius the Eternal on tabletop. So I thought, oh, this is a limited run one or something. No, this is this is the one Games Workshop still sells to this day for 40k. When they can create this, when they can create models like this, and yet they forget about the old Lucius the Eternal. Yeah. Where should I begin? Should I tell you that it's made out of fine cast resin and I've been repairing this model for a good part of a few months now? Since I've owned since I've owned this? Because I have. I the it is I daren't touch the actual lash anymore. I I do not touch that part because it is flimsy, it's resin, and it gets really warm here, so so I sort of have to keep an eye on it. And sometimes it just bends out of shape and then you have to re-bend it slightly. The other thing that I don't like about this model is its face. Now, it could be the paint scheme, but I think whoever painted this did a fantastic job. I Again, I brought this in a shop. And I, I love I, I like the paint scheme. It's a lot better than what I could do. I like the base. The base looks really cool. I I, I love this model. It looks great. I I think I I'm, yeah, I, I like this model. I bought it in a shop and now I own it just out of pure unadulterated spite. Yeah. I think I am the only person 
<laughs> that owns this model out of spite, but I do. I do, and I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but, but you know, the head looks dated as shit. I mean, again, the paint job helps, but it just looks dated, and again, it's fine cast. Uh, luckily, it's not on a slider base, um, so there's that, because if it was on a slider base, I wouldn't have brought it. Because, or maybe I would have. I would have still brought it. I I like old models, and this one, I, whoever painted it, did a fantastic job. I I love whoever painted it. <laughs> I mean, I love the paint scheme. Not not. <laughs> God, that sounded creepy. I love whoever painted this. <sighs> anyway, just really creepily, just hunt hunt whoever painted this down and go. I know where you live. I don't. I don't, but I, I do love the paint scheme. It helps a lot, but I can't forgive the constant annoyance that this model brings. It has messed with my slight OCD. Uh, <laughs> like, the backpack, I had to, like, it was super glued on. The backpack was super glued on, so I had to use plastic glue. Because it kept falling off, and I have super glue, but I thought, fuck it, plastic glue. Oh dear. The sword, I'm so happy that the sword isn't bent out of shape. And yeah. The backpack looks brilliant, and the shoulder pads look brilliant, and I can't paint for shit. I can't paint for shit, so this model looks pretty decent, but it's fine cast and I have to and I have done constant repairs and micromanaged the shit out of this model. I don't know why I own this model. I'm not getting rid of it because again I I love I I love and hate this model at the same time. I love the paint scheme. I love the details this guy did on it, or whoever. I've, I I don't even know who owned it originally. So if you if whoever owned it originally is watching this, you have done a fantastic job. You have done a wonderful job at, at of making the best out of a shit model. Please tell me your secrets because I am crap at painting. I am really bad at painting. I can't paint to save my life. Repairs, I can do. Painting, not so much. And also, again, I have no paints to paint with. But I do, I, I do like the backpack. I do, there are, I do like this model. I'm happy I brought it. I'm happy I brought this model. This model is, is, it's a nice model to own. But, fucking hate it at the same time. Anyway, so yeah, this is that this is that video that I I love this model. I love this model uh, here. Hopefully, it's off the screen now. If not, then it's gonna look really weird. But but I love this model. The new model looks amazing. The old one can suck a dick. But you know, it's me. I I will always love repairing stuff, even if it's Lucius the Eternal. And the actual character of Lucius the Eternal can fuck off. Please kill him off. If you are going to have to kill off a character, please kill off Lucius the Eternal and just make him into a demon. Not a demon prince, just like all demon... Like, like somebody... Like a demon possesses him and then it's that demon. Because, or like... Or it's somebody from the uh, Shrieking Souls armor escapes and possesses Lucius. Just something other than Lucius. Because Lucius himself is shit. But the model is cool. So yeah, I've been Idiotic Synergy. Thank you for listening to this weird Freudian ramble. But I don't know if I'm even using that in the right context anymore. But if you have enjoyed, you can subscribe. You can even like if you so desire, or you can even support me on Ko-fi if you want. Uh, it's a place where I basically upload really stupid Warhammer stories from time to time about people's models. So yeah, that's that. I have been Idiotic Synergy, thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.